Here I am in 3D via Composer, and what I have in this view is some links. And when I click on the door, the door opens, and I click the door again, the door closes. And everybody should know how to do this by setting up some basic events inside of a 3D via Composer. But what about this? Window open, door open, window closed, back door open, window open, window closed. How do I go in and create all of these different views very quickly so that I can have all these different combinations of not only positions, but things like colors? And have those colors applied to whatever state those objects and actors are happen to be in at that time. So let me show you how to do that in 3D via Composer using intelligent views. So here we are in 3D via Composer. And to create this uh, interactive document with intelligent views, let's just work on the door, the window, and the colors. So I'll select the door here. I'm going to go into the, the view pane. And what I want to do is I want to track the object's location. I'm also going to use the link because I'm going to build some hyperlinking here. So I'm going to reserve that uh, property here in my intelligent view. So this first position will be driver door closed. Now let's open the door and call it driver door open. Now let's take the window, capture the fact that the driver window is closed. And we'll open the window up a little bit, and we'll call that driver window open. So I've just created these intelligent views, capturing the location of what I've selected. So I can close the door, I can open the door, and I can close the window, and I can open the window. So now let's take a look at changing the color of the car. So I have a selection set that is selecting the body. And what I'll do here is, I don't want to worry about the location the link. I want to capture the material, which happens to be the color of the car. So first of all, let's create this first view, which we'll call it green. And then let's make one, we'll call it black. And we'll have one called red. And let's have one called blue. So now I've just created a whole set of custom views. So let's open the door when the car is blue. Let's open the window. Now let's make the car red. And now let's close the window. So very easy to create these uh, intelligent views. Now let's link them all together. So first of all, let's apply the closed door view. And we will retrieve the settings of that intelligent view. So we can see that here we are, the door is selected. We're tracking the location in the link. Now let's go in and actually add the link. When someone clicks on this, I would like it to link to driver door open. And I'll update my view with that information. Now let's go to driver door open, retrieve the settings. Now let's go and update the link so it goes to driver door closed when someone clicks on it. We'll do the same thing with driver window when the window's closed. We would like that to link to driver window open. And when the window's open, we would like to link to when driver window is closed. So if we take a look at that, I can click on the door open and the door will close. The door will open, door will close. Window up, window down. So now how do we link the colors? Because I'd like to be able to click on something and have the colors change. Well, this is where we can go in and use other actors, like labels and so on. So let's take this panel here that says, uh, right now it says show colors. It's a little small here because I'm not in full screen. So show colors, what I want to do is let's just capture all the properties and the visibility of this particular piece. When someone clicks on it, let's have them link to a view called show. This doesn't exist yet, but let's, let's have it reserved. And this view that I'm going to create will be called Hide. And all of these other pieces, we want to have all of these things in their current states. We want to track that they're hidden. We want the fact that Show Colors is there. And if I link on it, it's going to link to Show. So I'll create that view. We'll call this one Hide. And now what I'll do is we'll go in and we'll turn all these guys on. Let's change the text of this. So if someone clicks on it, we will say Hide Colors and we'll link it to hide. And if someone clicks on blue, we'll have them link to blue. If they click on black, 
we'll have them linked to black. If they click on red, we'll have them linked to red. And blue, we already have blue, uh, green. Right, you get the idea. And we'll take all these panels, and again, we'll, we'll create that view, and we'll call this one show. So now, if I click on hide colors, it hides them, and change the text to say show colors. Show colors, hide colors. All right, so let's show the colors. Now if I click on black, it changes everything to black, and I can close the door, open the window, close the window, change it to red, change it to green, and everything else in between. So that's the power of intelligent views, combined with the ability to do events and linking, and doing all of these events, linking intelligent views on geometry actors and on other collaborative actors, giving you all kinds of really great interactivity capabilities for your 3D via use.